Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of History Saver right here on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in and for all the support you've been giving me on the channel and the comments and the likes and the subscribes. Guys, I can't thank you enough uh, for your support. This channel is fairly new. I just started it a little over a month ago now. Um, but with thanking you guys, there's also one big person I need to thank, and that's Nathan over at Nathan's MRE. Go check out his channel right here on YouTube, Nathan's MRE. And this video is all thanks to him. I told him um, that I have been looking for a cheeseburger in a can. And Nathan has been helping me out with a lot of stuff here on YouTube. Any questions I've had since I've started, he's answered, he's gave me tips. Um, and he sent me a whole box of um, different rations and stuff, including this Trek It Burger. And uh, sent me a, one of his t-shirts and guys, he is one of the greatest YouTubers, to, in my opinion, on YouTube as far as ration reviews go. And please go check him out, support him, support his Amazon store um, with the link being right there on his YouTube channel. And I told him I was looking for this Trekking Burger, a uh, cheeseburger in a can, and I was having trouble finding one, couldn't find one anywhere. I saw these a couple of years ago on YouTube and want to try one since. Well, he found some overseas, he bought them, and then he was kind enough to also send me one and he also sent, you know, some overseas to different other people, but he was kind enough to send me one also. If you haven't saw his video on this trekking burger, go look at it. Go take a look at it, watch it, um, and I appreciate you watching this one. But never tried these before, always wanted to. Thanks to Nathan, we're not going to be able to do that. This is a trekking burger or a cheeseburger in a can, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he got these over in Germany. And this one has a slight bulge in the bottom. If you could kind of look at it here and tell, it's got a little bulge to it. It's also got a little bitty slight bulge in the top. Now, does that mean this is necessarily going to be bad? No. Does it mean it's going to be good? <laughs> I can't guarantee that, but we're about to find out. But before we do, we need something to wash this thing down with. So let's grab Old Faithful here. And this would be a perfect time for me to try out some apricot drink out of a Russian MRE. I've tried this before on the Russian ration I've done. These are excellent. I saved one out of it because I want to do it again. And guys, this thing was actually pretty good. So I've got some ice cold water in my canteen here, my canteen cup, and we're gonna go ahead, pour this in, and give us a little something to wash down this burger. Because if it's not good, well, we're probably going to need it. So it comes out, if you can look there, it's multicolored. has a great smell to it, though. And we're going to pour it in. And it does have a little weird color to it, um, just because it's an apricot drink, I guess. Or apricot drink, or however you want to say it. I call it apricot. But uh, we're going to give it a little stir. And last time I had this, like I said, I liked it. And I'm thirsty. Need something cold to wash this burger down with. So we're gonna try some here. And that's perfect. That's a really, really good beverage, especially cold. Okay, so we got our beverage, we got our tray, because we always have to use this to put whatever we're doing on. And now we have the trekking burger. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this open and let's be quiet and hear his. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what got to be one of the biggest hisses of, of all time. That thing had a pop to it. But let's go ahead and uh, wow. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Cheeseburger in the can. And. Let's cross our fingers and take a whiff and make sure this puppy is still good. Huh. It doesn't smell rancid at all. It actually smells like a cheeseburger. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is figure out how in the hell to get this thing off this can. Because it is, I can't talk, it is tightly packed within this can. And I don't want to really tear it up, but we've got to get this bad boy out. Let's see, I'm going to take a spoon and try to, uh, 
Let's tear it. Let's see. There we go. It's coming out in portions. And good gosh, I'm muddy. Come on. This thing does not want to come out this can for whatever reason. All right, we got the top out. Didn't tear it up too much. Or try not to. There we go. Nathan also had some trouble doing this, and we're going to have to take it out, I guess, by layers. He was able to get his out the can. Not too much of a hassle, but this one is just stuck. Okay. Well, there we go. Not really the way I wanted it to come out, but we've got it out, and it's still intact. And uh, that's the cheeseburger in a can. And, wow, flies are landing on it, and I'm inside. I don't know whether that's a good sign or a bad sign. But uh, that is the cheeseburger in a can, or the trekking burger. And we are now finally able to try one of these out. So, without putting it off anymore, I'm gonna pick up this bad boy. There you go. Cheeseburger in a can. Smells, smells okay actually. It's got a little, it's got no mold on it or anything like that. It's just got a little weird, weird, weird smell, but it really doesn't smell foul. But uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Nathan, here's to you. Um, whoa. I don't really know if this is good anymore. Um, it doesn't really taste rancid, but if you look, look on the inside here, looks like you got some onions, uh, some cheese, some mayonnaise, no, excuse me, mustard or ketchup or some kind of sauce. And I believe that's what I'm tasting. It doesn't really taste rancid. Um, but it definitely doesn't taste like a normal hamburger, but it's not bad. Uh, I'm gonna try some more of it. Okay. Um, oh, uh, apricot drink goes really well with it. Um, I'm trying to get my mouth on full here. I don't think that burger is any good anymore. Um, it may be, but if it is a little bad, it's not bad. I mean, it's not been that way long. And uh looks like it has some cheese or something. Cheese, cheese tastes good. I think it's just me and the way I think a hamburger should taste. But as far as cheeseburger in a can, guys, this is what you're looking at. And, or a trekking burger. And it's not bad, but I'm going to try a piece of this meat by itself. There we go. Do some experimenting here while we've got it. And that meat's got a little of the sauce on it, as you can see there. And we're going to take this thing and try it by itself. Okay. It's not my taste. Yeah. That's gone rancid. Um. Yeah. That bird is definitely, I think, gone rancid. It doesn't... It doesn't taste really like what Nathan was saying his tasted like. So I think it's actually got a little rancid over time. The meat by itself doesn't taste good at all. Um, so unfortunately, I think this burger is bad. And I took a couple of bites out of it, so maybe I'll be okay. 
But that's just part of it, guys. It's part of trying this stuff. Sometimes you can't really tell if it's rancid or not. Um, it doesn't have any mold on it or anything like that. But I think this burger's gone rancid. I'm going to get some of this apricot drink. Yeah, wash that down a little bit. Um, unfortunately, it's not good. But the great part about this is I've able, I finally have been able to try one. Thanks all the Nathan's MRE. Um, this trekking burger, man, it's one of the coolest things to be able to find one of these to me because this is something I've wanted for a really long time. And he was able to actually find them and he was kind enough to send me one. And guys, that's what makes, you know, people like that on YouTube here so great as people like Nathan, they, uh, they love their subscribers and they love, you know, other people who have the similar interest to doing what they do. And I've looked up to Nathan for a long time, even before I started my own channel. So I'm uh, very grateful to him for everything he's done to help me out. And I think the flies like it, but uh, that's not a good thing. Get out of here, buddy. But this trekking burger, guys, it's not good. But I think I got a ransom one, which is okay. It was worth a shot anyway. And with that being said, if you guys have an opportunity to find one of these, pick it up for yourself. Try it out, because it's definitely worth it. I mean, hands down, whether it's good or not, Definitely worth it. And thank you so much, Nathan, for sending this over to me. And I will be seeing you guys on the next video. So for now, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe button below. And share this video with your friends. And I'll see you on the next one. But until then, God bless.